This news segment from KLRU brought to you by Texas Mutual Insurance. Topping your Texas political roundup 2016 with Rick Perry out. There's just one Texan to watch now in the crowded GOP presidential field and Ted Cruz didn't say much in this week's debate. Sticking to his pledge not to attack the frontrunner, Donald Trump, the junior senator from Texas, kept mostly mum. When he did speak, he complimented Trump for highlighting the issue of illegal immigration and took subtle jabs at both Jeb Bush and Ben Carson. I'm very glad that Donald Trump's being in this race has forced the mainstream media finally to talk about illegal immigration. I think that's very important. I like and respect Ben Carson. I'll let him talk about his own plans. But I will say this, the natural next question that primary voters are asking after we focus on illegal immigration is, okay, what are the records of the various candidates? And this is an issue on which there are stark differences. Cruz has said for weeks that another federal government shutdown is possible if Congress continued to fund Planned Parenthood. But Monday, Cruz's colleague, U.S. Senator John Cornyn, dismissed the idea of a shutdown, saying while there have been disagreements on spending, Congress has a duty to govern and will work through it. And new U.S. Census data out this week showed that Texas' rate of uninsured people dropped below 20 percent for the first time in more than a decade. Still, the Lone Star State claims the highest percentage of people without health insurance. And now Texas has the highest number of people without coverage, edging out California. I'm Alana Rocha for the latest on these stories, plus our seven-part series looking at the lessons learned from Hurricane Rita. Visit us online at texastribune.org. This local news segment was brought to you by Texas Mutual Insurance.